Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. State Senator Rhonda Storms is a lightning rod for conservative issues. Last year, after voting yes on a controversial bill creating merit pay for teachers, Storms received a threatening voicemail. It wasn't her first threat. Well, the first time it happened to me, I got a concealed weapon permit, and I bought a weapon, and I carry a weapon. In 1999, then-House Speaker John Thrasher received a death threat. It was in a form of a postcard and uh, had some pretty uh, graphic language in it about uh, what they thought they were going to do to me and they knew where my children lived and that was the, the real scary part. Visitors to Florida's capital undergo rigorous security checks. Cameras monitor doors and hallways. Enter wearing a buttoned up coat and you'll be asked to open it for inspection. And if you were to walk into this building with a sealed envelope, Capitol Police would make you leave the building open it, and then come back in. Inside and outside the building, the governor and lieutenant governor are protected 24-7, and it's not uncommon for legislators and other state officials to receive a security detail when threats are credible. You evaluate the level of the threat, and, uh, and then you investigate it. While it is uncommon for most threats to be acted upon, public officials being threatened has become part of public service at all levels of government. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vassalindo reporting.